Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. One over here and one over here like this. And then they will start feeding in there and turning that into landfill. So it's going to take a little while for it to process that through. But... It will get there eventually. So, now I want Angel's Power. And I'm going to make me a few of these. Like that. And then we're going to go back over here. Right, that's all been laid down now. We, we've got that all in place. So, I've got stone coming out on that side and on that side. And I'm kind of thinking I want to keep the stone at the moment. I don't want to... Well, I, I, like the crushed rock. I don't want to turn it into stone. I want to keep it as crushed rock. So I'm going to take a warehouse here, 750 stacks that it can do. And I'm going to drop that bad boy down right there. I'm not going to do anything particularly special with it. And then I'm going to take fast transport belt right here because that's what I'm now using. And I'm going to swivel you around like that over to here. One, two, three, like that. Pop that in there, and then I'm going to go one, two, like that. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm hoping that that's going to be enough belt to be able to pick everything up that is going to want to come through here. I'll do it like that, and that one can go out there like that. I then want to put power, power, like that, and I've now got stone storage going in here. So the actual rubite ore is going to come down here. It is then going to turn this wise direction. That one over there is going to do something similar. It's going to come down there. And it's going to move this direction like this. Before I do any more of that, I've just now got advanced nickel smelting in place. We're going to want to do some more of the other bits that we were doing, which were... You know, I don't actually remember. Uh... Explosives, artillery. Artillery is the bit that I'm after, so I've just got to work back up and get everything above the artillery point. So I'm just looking over here. i got nothing over that side. Uh, that's the next one down on the list is Angel's Batteries right there. So I'll start that research there. It's giving me a whole load of extra bits in there, which I've no doubt are going to be extremely useful and provide a whole host of new and extremely complex things for me to have to go and build which is just going to make life more complicated right what i'm going to do at the moment before i do anything else is i'm going to take landfill right here we're going to go into the map mode map is ever expanding here and we're going to zoom in like this now i've got an area here that i can expand out into which i'd like to make use of I'm going to go there with landfill, like that. And I'm going to take it over to there. I'm then going to move this all the way up here. See, the thing with the landfill that I've got is it does make a complete square over this area. So I put all of that down, like that. And it does replace everything on that island there. It, it does go over the entire lot and use it all up. Right, the uh, construction robots, 0 of 637. All of the robots are out. Are they still placing bricks down? I think they're all busy doing bricks at the moment. Uh, they're not interested in my little project that I want to build up here, which is kind of a nuisance. Actually, I suppose it wouldn't really matter all that much because I can build that bit there surely let's have a look let's let's go in here i, I kind of want to move it north i want to i want to do this this is what i want right here so i'm going to copy that copy and i'm just going to run that out like that and then i'm going to run down here so that i pull all of that in so let's have a look here i've got Right, I've, I've got a warehouse that is going to be plonked down onto this system. I'm going to put it there. I'm just, I'm just going to drop that one down there like that. 
that will actually work out just fine. So I'm in order to be able to put that one in, I am going to need to move these poles here. So I'm going to put one there and one over there. Get rid of that one and that one. They're already going up through the top. So I'll get rid of the rest of these poles here. And then what I'll eventually do is change these poles around a little bit as well. That one there can come out. That's gone. Right. Can I move that one? Yes. Right. So what I'll eventually do is I will sort of um that this these here will bring those back down this way and go in through this new blueprint that i'm about to put down in here so i want to be able to put that one down as low as possible on this side and then we can start doing the smelting and everything to the north of that so you can go in there like that that's going to get everything being placed down this one possibly will end up getting rid of and those are going to need something different on them but that's fine we can deal with that afterwards now i've got six ore sorting facilities in here already so i'm going to pop those down like that put them in and make sure that they're all in the right spots one there one there and one up there like that so there is our six ore sorting facilities i got the wrong recipe there's got to be crushed rubite so we'll be getting uh lead ore and nickel ore out of this from this one over here, we're getting tin and silicon. So it's, it is different ores completely. So I'm going to copy that, paste it into those three like that. Wait a minute. Big mistake over here. Wait, no. How did I do that? Ha oh, I know what I did. I, I, I literally, I've just placed it. I've, I've actually just physically dropped it in the wrong spot. It wasn't, um, I thought maybe I was like following the blueprint wrong or something like that. But no, I'm not. I, I've just literally dropped it in the wrong spot. That's all. So I can put that one down there. And then if I go and bring up the blueprint that I used and I put that one down there like that and drop it in, then it will put those back into place in there. And we shouldn't have any problem. Right, so I got robots bringing up all of these bits and putting them all down in the right place. So then I want to go into here and I want to set the recipe because I went and put the blueprint down again. It's, it's going to change the recipe once more. Um, so I just want to do that there. So now we've got crushed rubite going through, which means that that one and that one are going to need to be different. And we're going to need to start pulling out some different things. So I've got... Tin being made over there, and then I'm going to want lead being made off of this one, and we will store the nickel for now and keep that back, because at the moment, I don't think I've got anything that I want to use the nickel for. It's just something that I will eventually be using. At least I think that's what we're going to do. So, like this one over here, I've kind of allowed for a lot of these materials in here. I mean, the, the slag in that warehouse there... I'm not quite halfway on that one. Well, I'm not even close to halfway on either of them. This one right here is actually two-thirds full. I've got a second warehouse there waiting for more silicon. So we've got a lot of storage space for silicon. But we're still going to want a lot more. Now, at the moment, for this facility that I've got right here, I've got uh, four, five, uh, six... I've actually got six of these large warehouses that I'm using. Right, I've got nothing in there. This one here, I have got spare tin plates going in, which we'll probably be using at a later date, but I'm not going to use them right now. So I, I'm, I'm going to want six. Six warehouses in total. Now, I've got silos. I've got five silos, but I've got no warehouses on me at the moment. We're going to want to be building some of those, so I need to be looking for my storage, production... Resource refining, intermediate, water, petrochem, logistics, no. Logistics, angels logistics over here. This is, this is, yes, there it is. Silo, warehouse, right. I've got enough for two warehouses because I've only got 100 steel. So I need to make some more of those. 
Let's go and get some materials. What am I looking for? Uh, nothing down there. Down this way. On a little bit further. Uh, some bricks. Some bricks would be useful. I've got 400 bricks, I think. Yeah, I'll get two more lots of bricks. I'm going to want some more iron at some point, but steel is what I want to go and get first. So let me go and find that. Where did I put it? It's the steel's down over here. Right. Have I actually got any steel in storage at the moment? Or of that... No, I don't. Well, that's a, a, a dilly of a pickle. Uh, that's not really supposed to be how... I, 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 I need steel. This, this isn't part of the master plan. Where, where's all the steel going? It's going into that one. And then it's going into that one. Which is going into that one. Which is going into that one. And that was not full. I see. This one's not full. That's why. It's all going into here and this one's not full. I am, I'm going to need that though eventually, aren't I? I, I, I am actually going to be wanting that. So let me run on down here. I got a lot of steel on this belt. It runs all the way down here so I can... Yeah, it comes down to the end of here. So if I stand right down the bottom here... Got no steel in there. Got no steel in there. Right. There. If I stand down the bottom here, I can do... Just, uh, I, I can tweak all of the steel off of that belt. I need to go a little bit closer to the belt. Oops. Right, what's happening is I'm getting too close. I can't, like, run along beside the belt. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to do it like that. Right, I'm just going to sit here and wait for a minute then. All right, that's all of it. That's every single little bit. And that one there. Which is giving me 568 pieces of iron, which is absolutely fantastic. Iron plate up there, not so much. I need to go and get some more of those now. So we're going to go for a little bit of a mosey on up and get some iron plate. In here, I've got a lovely bit of crushed stone that is slowly accumulating. And we'll eventually fill everything all the way back up and then it'll start being converted into stone, which will go into here. Except that is completely full. And that is almost completely full as well. So I'm going to need to do something with these in order to... You know what? I'm just going to do this. Unless I turn that stone into landfill already. I can't remember what I can do with stone. Uh, this is kind of what I'm wondering is, is what what do I want to like stone right there usage? What can I do with it? I've got I've got six uses. All right, I can make construction block one, which is quite a handy thing to have. Uh, basic underground belts we don't use a lot for those. Construction block one we don't use a great deal for that. Landfill obviously that's going to be where the bulk of the stone is going to disappear to. Two stones to make one stone brick is a fair bit going to go into that, I suppose. Rails. Not actually planning to use that much in a way of trains in this series. So rails may not get into it very much. Concrete. Concrete I will be using, so I'm going to need some for that as well. So I, You know, I'm, I'm going to use this bit right here. I'm just going to store it up. So I'll, I'll drop down these. You are in the way right there, so I'm going to have to like extend you out by one spot like that. There, and then I'll put two into there. And put two into there, and then I'll do a power pole and a power pole like that. And then you are going to need an extended pickup drop-off sort of like that. And then I'll do the same on that one, and that's going to start chucking everything over. Right, okay, there we go. That bit is all tickety-boo and hunky-dory. I can then go wandering back up this way. We'll ignore the steel for now. It's it's filling up its thing. It's It's doing what it's supposed to do, so we don't need to worry about it. Somewhere I got iron. Now I know I don't have any spare iron being stored on there. I'm hoping that somewhere along the line I do actually have a chest that's pulling out some iron that I can just go and grab. It is something that I would normally do, put a small chest, drop one down. I've got bricks over there. But that ain't iron. I don't have iron around here that I can see. 
thought. Ah, yeah, I do. I've got some. I've got one chest over there that I've got with spare iron lying in it so that I can go and grab some. That's what I'm after. That one right there. Right, so I'll take up those. That allows me to build some more warehouses. I've got three. There's another five being constructed. That leaves me with no bricks. I'm going to just get one stack of bricks now rather than getting loads of them because I think for the most part I'm kind of doing all right with them. Uh, this is where we've got our bricks. I'll take one stack of 200 out of there. Right. That's that little bit done. Little side quest that we had to go on over there. I've got this bit up through here. This is looking great. The robots have brought up just about everything apart from a couple of these, which just need to be placed down. Uh, I think that bit there isn't even going to be placed, is it? So I need to get some... Yeah, that's why. That's not actually in an active building zone. So I need to make it an active building zone. Right, uh, those are, would be warehouses in there. So let me put that one along there. That one there. Yeah, I'll, I'll just follow this line along like this. It's going to have to come... It's going to have to go right where that radar is. I don't really want to do that. Except that I'm going to anyway. Because I'd like this to be in a straight line. That one's going to go over to there. Right, then I get that radar. I, well, I, I have to build the radar again because that's how it works. And ooh, right, I, I, it's the the gears. I have five gears that I need right there to build a radar two, or I just build a regular radar. I'll just go with the regular one right now. Let's, let's not overcomplicate things, shall we? Let's. Drop you down there. So you're pretty much in the same spot that you were. Pretty close. You're not exact, but it's it's close enough for me to be happy with it. Uh, we're still missing out on the electric poles. And I'd kind of like to have some of those kicking around somewhere so that I can use them. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've got a requester chest there. I've got some of these chests down here. Right, I've, I've got... Some of them going in now. I'm going to take 50 small electric poles. I'm going to drop them into there. Just as a standby for a minute, I will come back and I'll actually start making some of these. Right, let's let's get those going there. Uh, yeah, I'd actually like to start manufacturing some of those at some point. I'm just not quite sure when that's going to be. Now, let's have a look on you. So that filter there is going to have to change. Lead is the bit that I want to keep. So we're going to be filtering out here the nickel ore. So that comes out down there and goes into this large warehouse that we're building right here. I'm actually going to take warehouse and I'm going to drop that down there onto my hotbar. And then I'm going to go there like that. Right, we've now got Angel's batteries. They are up and running and ready to go. Looking elsewhere on the tech list. But basically, I want the explosives. If I find it, like if if I can find explosives on the list, I can easily get to the next bit that I want to get to. I want to go to that one, and yeah, there we go. Right, and then and then I can go to here. So then I can backtrace from there, and I can start filling in all of these bits that I need. Robotics and stuff are good and uh, quite vital really for everything to run but these items here that we've got on this list are probably the most important what's that slag processing i think i've got everything above here now yeah i've got all of that up there all right let's let's start working our way along the list we'll do the slag processing right there and that one is going to need to be the same as that one over there. I'm going to put a fast splitter in there like that. And I'll copy it. Oops. Wrong side. It's got to be that side. Right, yeah, that's fine. Everything else is fine on there anyway. Uh, copy out and paste that into there. Then we will go on here. Warehouse. So what I did with this one... That's a slag warehouse, and that's a slag warehouse. So I went up here, go up by one more so that I can make room for stuff. Then come over here. 
How far out did I put this? Right out on the corner. So I'll do the same over here on this one. I'll put one of you there and I'll put one of you there. So that slag, that slag. This one here is going to be nickel. That one there will also be nickel. And we will drop in... I don't need to put four of these in, I don't think, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to drop those uh, full four in there, and then I'll put one of those there and one of those there, and just sort of make that little loop all the way around. So that's everything going where it needs to be on there. So next up, we then want to come out of that area, and we want to build that bit right there. So over here... At least I'm assuming that's what I need for lead. Let's just double check that in here. We want to go... Uh, I want to go into there, and then I want to find lead ore. Well, actually, if I just go crush rubite usage, lead ore in here. No, that's not how I want to do this. I need to, I need lead ore. I, I need to look at lead ore, right? So, uh, no, not craft. There. Metallurgy, lead ore... Usage. Right. Oh, yes, I remember. Lead is slightly different. Slightly, slightly different. You lead ore, I could turn that into processed lead if I had advanced lead smelting too, which I don't currently have. Um, so I've got to have advanced lead smelting. I need oxygen gas and 24 lead ore. And that gives me sulfur dioxide gas and 24 lead ingots. That goes through a blast furnace, which is that one over there. So for this bit here, I've got two blast furnaces. So I can build two blast furnaces. We can start off by doing those. So let's go into here. Uh, sintering oven. Casting. Induction. Blast furnace. One, two. Right. So we need two of those. We got them built now. That's done. That's, that's looking fantastic. Uh, not craft, no usage. So 24 lead ore and 60 oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is easy enough to get. We're or, Actually, we're already getting that, aren't we? Have not already started on oxygen gas here somewhere? Where did I have oxygen being manufactured already? I'm sure I've already got oxygen being kicked out somewhere. Well, I got water over here, which I can split down for oxygen. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't actually gotten around to doing anything that requires gas or anything like that yet. Oh, well, well, well. It would appear that I'm not actually using... Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Right there. Right. There's oxygen gas. I've got oxygen going in there, into the steel mill. I just want more oxygen coming through. And then that one right there... What is that? That's hydrogen gas in there. That should... Is, that... Isn't the hydrogen burning off somewhere? No, it's not yet. I'm storing the hydrogen gas. I just haven't made enough of it yet to reach the point where I can actually start storing it. Because I still need to increase this. Like, this needs upgrading. I, I need to upgrade that. Okay, let's not worry about that. So then we're on to 24 lead ingots over here. So then if we go into here and we go for lead ingots and I use them, I can turn lead and tin ingots into molten solder using induction furnaces if I want to. Lead ingot becomes molten lead in the induction furnace. Or it becomes brass in there with stuff that I don't yet have. So we can turn it into molten lead. And I can also, this is like the quite an important thing, is I can take lead and tin, turn it into molten solder. So if we go back from here and then we start looking in the metallurgy casting bit over this side... And scroll down a bit. No. Where is it? Metallurgy smelting. Uh, molten solder and molten... Oh, I know why. It's because you've got to look over this side for the liquids. There. This this is the molten ones down here. So I've got available uh, steel... There. Molten solder right there. 
usage of that one, I can turn that into uh, 40 of them into 6 solder using a casting machine. I can turn molten solder and water into a solder coil, which can then be transported elsewhere if I want to, and I can do that with the whole coolant thing. So we literally, we can turn the solder that we want into solder on a belt, um, just do it more efficiently, that's all. And then I want to go back into here, and I've got molten lead in there, usage. I can turn 40 of those into four lead plates. I can go glass with molten lead and get uh, glass with lead oxide coming out of it. Uh, zinc, oxygen, molten lead gives me zinc ingots, lead ingots, and sulfur dioxide. This basically, uh, once you get this set up, you have a permanent loop with the lead and the lead there. Like, you don't lose any. Uh, it's just kind of used in the process, and it becomes a permanent loop that you don't lose anything from. The lead sheet coils and more of the same. So, I can make the lead up here. I'm going to need to bring in a bit of oxygen in order to be able to do this properly. That's not a problem. But the solder. Now, we're bringing at the moment, we're bringing lead and tin. Well, I was bringing lead. I was adding lead to the mix. But I got the tin that's coming down here. And that travels along there, I guess, to this point here. Which is mixed in with lead as well. And then that becomes solder, which is put out onto here. And then it comes over onto this side, and then that goes into that belt down there, and then it moves off into the rest of the system down here, where it's all used up. All right, there's the solder going in, and that's this all used up elsewhere in the system. All right, that's great. I can get rid of that. I can scrap that whole thing, and we can be making our solder further up. So I've got the tin plates coming down. No tin plates are being used on that belt along there until they get to this stage here underneath all of these robots that we've got congregating right here. So we can remove everything up to that point and then we can use that as a transport belt to bring the solder down and just have solder running along that belt. Come down into here and then the solder will essentially just come out onto this bit and then go through the rest of the base. All right? That should be relatively straightforward. It's not going to be a difficult thing, because all i got to do is put the solder on this belt instead of the lead. Because if we look through... I'm not using lead anywhere else, am I? That's all I've been using it for at the moment, is to make solder. At least I think that's the case. Um, if I look in here and I go to... It's not in there. Be on that one. Lead plate. Usage, I've got 10 uses. Uh, anodes, I'm not making those. I'm not making cathodes. I don't think I am. That's for the new battery one that we've just unlocked. Battery casing, I'm not making those. That's new tech that I've just unlocked. Uh, solder mixture, I am making solder mixture. Thorium reactor, deuterium reactor, radio, thermoelectric generator, bullet projectile, Mixed oxide, mox, fuel, cell, shotgun pellets. Not using it for any of those. So that's literally the only thing I'm using lead for is for making the solder, which means that we can do all of our soldering up here. We don't need to change anything. So that one there is an induction furnace. Furnace? Furnace. That is an induction furnace. So we're going to go, we want to go to craft in here. Crushed rubite. No molten lead. Yes, I want induction furnace to make the lead plates. At the moment, I don't actually need to worry about making lead plates at all, do I? I want to make lead ingots right here. So we can make those and that's going to give us... Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirt, uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.